America. I don't know about Canada. Yoga! Yes, and for the record, Pilates is yoga. We called them, my wife called them, yes, that's what it is, just for the record. I want to get that on tape. What is yoga? Well, you know, the Beatles take credit for bringing yoga to America. Yeah, because they went to India and began to study it and found out that this is a very good way to tap into your human spirit and awaken your human spirit and become one with your human spirit. But what did I tell you about becoming one with your human spirit? The minute you tap into it, you dislodge it from God's protection and you're open for what? Mm. Demons. Yoga is from the Sanskrit word yug, meaning union with the divine or higher self. Yoga is a path for transcending the ordinary mind who you think you are, in order to merge with your higher self or God self. Yoga means to what? To yoke. To yoke with the universal spirit via the realization of an altered state of consciousness. Therefore, theoretically releasing oneself from the bondage of endless reincarnation. That's all it was for. It was for the Gnostic people so that they could stop being reincarnated. This is the gnosis that they needed to finally gain the knowledge so that they could beat reincarnation. And become one with the spark that was in them. The human spirit. Are y'all still here? Every yoga teacher is a, uh, in, in effect, a Hindu or Buddhist missionary. And protests that yoga is not a religion but a science. This is the most blatant of lies. Yet it has been so widely proclaimed and believed in America and beyond. That yoga and other forms of Hindu, Buddhist, occultism are taught and accepted as science. God forbids your mind and your spirit, you joining with your human spirit. I love Hebrews 4 and 12. It says, for the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of your mind and, I mean, of your soul or mind and spirit. Y'all, leave the, look at somebody, said, leave yoga alone. Leave yoga alone. Another way folks get these demons, and I'm almost to the music, just, just keep waiting. Hypnosis. Hypnosis comes from the Greek word hypnos meaning sleep. In fact, hypnosis is far from sleep. It is a way of reaching into the subconscious mind in a conscious, controlled way. In a deep state of trance, the body may sleep, but the mind is fully awake. Don't stir at that too long, you'll be hypnotized. Another way devil gets in that human spirit subliminal stimuli what is that ah it means below the threshold these are sensory stimuli below an individual's absolute threshold for conscious perception in other words this is backwards messages these are you know silent messages that they put in music you know when you i talked about it in my first video you go into walmart and you can't stop shopping and you don't know why that's because they have a beautiful song that's playing but you can't really hear it but way in the background in that song somebody's saying buy some lettuce buy some meat, buy some bread and something to eat and hey, you don't know why you just <laughs> <laughs> subliminal they're stimulating you below your threshold of perception this is what backward masking is. Remember, Alistair Crowley said, listen to music backwards. Why? Because your subconscious can understand it and decode it. That's why they put backwards messages in music. Y'all still here? Y'all enjoying this? I have to go here because we can just assume everybody knows this, but God told me, don't assume that everybody knows this. People need to know what makes the devil bad. They need to know what makes it a bad thing. Another way, clairvoyance. What is that? The term clairvoyance is used to refer to the ability to gain information about an object. It means clear. An object, a person, location, or physical event through means other than known human senses. A form of extrasensory perception. A person said to have the ability of clairvoyance is referred to as a clairvoyant person. God said this is an abomination. The reader of palms, the user of a Ouija board, using a crystal ball, reading tarot cards, using numbers and numerology, or using the planet's astrological symbols and, oh, I'm a Capricorn, so that means I'm going to have a bad day today. You just open your human spirit up for a bad day, and you open it up for a demon to come in and control your day. Are you listening to me? Another way, 
and I'm almost done with this part. Necromancy. God said it's an abomination. What is necromancy? A necromancer is a form of magic in which the practitioner seeks to summon the spirit of a deceased person, either as an apparition or ghost, or to raise them bodily for the purpose of divination. So this is talking to the dead, communicating with the dead, bringing forth the dead, talking to grandmama in the kitchen and all that. Y'all know how y'all do. I mean, there's nothing wrong with just reminiscing and wishing grandmama's here, but don't, when you hear the pots rattling in the, in the kitchen and you in the other room, don't run in there and say, oh, oh grandmama's here, I gotta go talk to her. She's been dead 20 years. Grandma, I heard you rattle the pots. What do you want? Something is wrong. Look at somebody and say, something's wrong with that. We don't communicate with the dead in any kind of way. We don't go and try to pass through the plane of death. Another way that demons come in. Idolatry, oaths and yoking. Idolatry is usually defined as worship of image, ideas, and objects as opposed to the worship of God. Idolatry will do it every time. Oaths, taking oaths to crazy stuff. I solemnly pledge to this and that and get into these fraternities and sororities that worship false gods. You're actually taking oaths and taking promises to false gods. You're doing things uh, uh, that are ungodly and you're making promises with your word. These will open you up for demonic infestation, especially yoking, yoking yourself together. Even premarital sex and sex outside of marriage is a way. The Bible said the two become one flesh. That means what gets in there, what What's in them gets in you and vice versa. You yoked up, you open your human spirit up, and now you are subject to demonic infestation. First Corinthians said, know you not that your bodies are members of Christ. Then I, shall I take the members of Christ and make them members of a harlot? God forbid. Another way, fantasy and fantasizing. Sitting back wishing you were somebody else or trying to be somebody else. Now this is going to get real deep. Escaping this world because of pain and hurt. When somebody abuses you, you go in your room, you know, like what did Tyler Perry say, my safe place and this and that and you go and create Medea and I'll wear a dress and that'll help me feel better about what was done to me. That will bring a demon in you for sure. That is why he struggles with what he struggles with even now. Sexual, immoral, uh, sexual or immoral fantasies will bring demons almost every Every time sitting back wishing you could have sex with somebody, wishing that they would come, wishing, wishing, the devil will figure out a way to mask their face, put their face on an astral body and bring that sex to you. But the sex is coming in the form of a demon and when you become one with it, it's attached. Can I keep going? Wishing you were someone else. Young people, listen. No matter how bad it is, don't start wishing you were somebody else and trying to be one of these movie stars and one of these artists and looking like them and mimicking them and all of that stuff because their demon that's in them will become very familiar and come into you. Wishing harm upon others. You can get so mad till you start wishing folks would just die. I wish they were dead and they talking about me. They, I wish they were dead. I wish they would die. And this is when young kids come into schools and shoot everybody up because they wished it for so long. Role play video and board games. Come on, parents, you gotta watch this. If you happen to look at the screen and your child is fighting Satan on the screen, I think you need to go get them another game. Amen? But board games, all of that stuff that they used to play back in the day, Dungeons and Dragons, this, the, the stakes are much higher now and these fantasy games are bringing possession to our children. Desiring fame and wanting to be famous and wanting to be before an audience is a guaranteed way to get the spirit of affectation in you to where you will only survive by the applause of the people. Oh, this is a good one. Not narcissistic behavior online, Facebook and uh, MySpace and you thinking you the bomb and thinking everybody needs to know everything that's happening to you all the time. Uh-oh. Amen. Now, EX Ministries, we have a, listen, we have a Facebook account. We minister through Facebook. I understand all of that. But boy, if you on there all the time showing your butt and, you know, taking pictures and just, you know, you just all nasty all the time. Then you, you know, want everybody to read everything you got to say. And, oh, I went and got some bubble gum today. And, oh, this man looked at me funny today. That's narcissistic because your world begins to revolve around you. You know, people go crazy like that. Clean up your face. Look at somebody say, clean up your Facebook page. I mean, come on, if you're a Christian, why do you have all these old nasty recording artists and songs and junk on your Facebook? That thing gets me. People say, I'm a fan of EX Ministries, and I click on their page. I'm the baddest bee that ever lived. I'm like, can I delete them? What made you a fan of EX Ministries?
Oh, it's about to get real good. Y'all still here? Y'all, I'm trying my best to get through this, but I just don't, I just don't want to shortchange anybody, y'all. Y'all need to hear this. Daniel said, therefore, when all the people heard the sound of the horn, the pipe, the lyre, the trigon, the dulcimer, and the bagpipe, and every kind of music, all the people, nations, and languages fell down and worshiped the golden image that Nebuchadnezzar had set up. Why? Because they listened, they were listening to Baal's music. Lord of things that fly, the Lord, God of this world, has music. And this music all promotes his agenda. And I gotta, I'm going to go back in the day a little bit, then I'm going to bring it back up front. Is that okay? Yes. And I'm going to start with this one group, and this is going to hurt me just as much as it hurts most of you. Parliament Funkadelic. Yeah, I know. You grew up on the funk. <laughs> 